Good evening, folks. Dr. Freedom here with the Times on Dr. News. News from in and around the Hooters that is so amazing, so weird, so enticing that your brain might just explode at the speed of light and not take out several planets because we don't want to wipe out any planets. They haven't done anything to us. But it could make your consciousness reach out and touch the infinite. But as a, or maybe it could just send you to. What was that, Martin? South Africa? Okay, interesting thought. But here's what I'm going with. Okay, look, this popped up in the mirror a little while back. Uh, you may re remember that, you know, if you've been looking at the Dr. Freedom Facebook page, this was up there where they, you know, they leaked out apparently that Marie Gold was leaving, and now it seems to be a definite. Also, we found out over that, you know, recently that Edward Russell is also leaving, and he's the Dr. Who brand manager and has been for years. So, it seems like everybody's getting out of the TARDIS while they can. It's just gotten crazy. But it seems the Chibs may have himself a security leak. Now, normally I don't give much credence to the mirror because for the longest time they were completely inaccurate. But remember I also mentioned there was a time a ways back when it seemed like somebody was leaking info to them that was coming true because I think it's happening again. Because if you jump down to here, the next series will kick off with an episode set up north. It, you know, it emerged this week after the show set in, in Cardiff got its own version of the Sheffield Police Station. Later in the run, it, it is rumored that new characters Ryan and Yasmin will delve into their past during historical episodes set in India and Africa. Now, why am I basing this off of? Dr. Freedom, have you gone nuts? Are you tazy? No, I am not tazy. Well, wait, what's tazy? Oh, man. Okay, sorry about that. Let's get this set up, bam. All right, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, wham, here we go. George Baker on the 23rd, matter of fact, the night of Doctor Who's 54th anniversary, was told by a Doctor Who crew member that filming will take place in South Africa for one month after Christmas. So could it be, remember back when they thought that they were you know, courting Peter Jackson and they were going to get an episode made in New Zealand? It would be the first time in Doctor Who's 54 years that it's ever been filmed in South Africa or you know, a location that is exotic out in the middle of nowhere. Also, if you look up on Girly Letters, there were apparently some um, recce photos that were put up. And I'll, maybe I'll pass them on to you, a link to that as well, so you can go take a look. And they look like they might have been the Kalahari Desert. So it's really fascinating to think that maybe even though they've lost the, a couple of episodes, they're down to 10 episodes and a Christmas special. Cause I don't think they're going to can Christmas. I honestly don't. It would be a, it would be a dick move, let alone, you know, a bad move, but just think maybe by cutting those episodes, they got enough budget to do this really exotic location shoot. So interesting stuff going on. Now let's get into it. Let's get onto it. Let's hop on to the news train the news trains go win by sorry about the adult content i can't do a thing why don't you go blame radio times for making it impossible for me to use an ad blocker so if you have any offense to these lovely ladies over here selling their wares i can't do a damn thing about it all right peter capaldi's emotional bid sorry being peter capaldi's doctor i'm being distracted to bid emotional farewells in the doctor who 2017 Christmas special. Now, will the doctor say goodbye to some of his oldest friends this December? There's been speculation, speculation, and speculation galore. But apparently, there's a rumor drifting around now that Narnal has been cited, has, you know, has been rumored to have something to do with the Christmas special. Probably like a goodbye sequence like they did with Tenet, hopefully not as long, because the Tenet goodbye sequence was just damn ridiculous. But in a way, it kind of played into what's going on with Capaldi's Doctor, the Doctor 12. But I remember back when regeneration was something that happened if you were going to croak. It wasn't something you had to trigger before you croaked. And by the way, you couldn't hold it in like a really large poo. Like you were stuck it on the interstate in the nearest rest area is like 12 miles off. And you got to keep those butt cheek squeeze closed for like the next 15 minutes or you're going to blow all out. Of them. Well, that's an image you don't want to see or imagine. But Remember when you couldn't hold a regeneration in like a poo. So speculation is abound. Also remember, Jenna Coleman's name has come up several times in relation to the Doctor Who Christmas special as well. But now, like I said, I don't think it's going to be anything pivotal. I don't think it's going to have anything relating to the plot. 
I think what it might just be is part of his farewell thingy biggy boobies. Thingy thingy biggy biggy boobies. Oh, sorry. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what I can and can't say, as is always the case with Doctor Who. All right. All right. Okay. Radio DJ Joe Wiley. The storyline is just fantastic. It's so brilliant. It's really, really, really clever. Um, I don't know what I can and can't say. It's as is always the case with Doctor Who. But basically, it was leading up, leading up to that moment when he had to say some emotional farewells. So it seems to me like they're going to do something similar to the end of time part two. Is all that you know? The set was loaded with sadness and emotion. It's fascinating to watch as actors. They're obviously all incredibly close, and the whole team are incredibly close. Doctor Who is such a close knit family. Seeing them, seeing them then become you know those characters, you just get drawn into what you've been watching on screen. Throughout your the whole of this doctor's incarnation, it's fascinating to see, and when and then they just snap out and they're the actors again. So some really really interesting possibilities going on here for Capaldi's farewell episode. All right, so keep an open mind. Boom. All right, Peter Capaldi cried when announcing his Doctor Who exit. Now everybody remembers when he went on that radio show. It was Joe Wiley's show, I remember right. And just out of nowhere, said, "I'm leaving." It was, and to me, like I said, the BBC didn't prompt her or prepare her for this. They apparently had no idea he was going to do this. And then he just kind of casually let it into the conversation. I remember just trying to compute, did you just say what I think you just said? Are you actually leaving? And his eyes were just brimming with tears. And it was obviously a hugely big deal for him, a very emotional experience to tell everyone that this was it, that this was his time to move on. And I felt really privileged that he decided to do it on the show. And now I'm beginning to wonder more and more if my theory is true that Capaldi was forced out. And I don't think it was by Chris Chibnall. I don't think it was by anything else. I think it was the BBC exec said, well, Peter, you know, we want to do this next year. And you can tell by these surveys we handed out that they're just not into you anymore. And I'm not saying that. I'm saying that some two-bit double-speaking executive pumped this bullshit in Peter Capaldi's head. And I think that's what made me finally make the decision to leave. Because as you see right here, the man was crying. He didn't want to leave. I still don't buy that bullshit story that, you know, I don't think he was fired. I think they pressured him into quitting. And if you've ever been down that road before, you know what it's like. All right. Speaking of that, Jody Whitaker will DJ on six music on the... To DJ on six music on the eve of the first her first Doctor Who appearance. That's right. She'll tease her unveiling as the new Time Lord by turning radio DJ on Christmas Eve. The actress first we heard on BBC Six Music Airwaves for an evening of programming and music hours before she is seen as the first ever female Doctor in the Christmas Day special of the Sci-Fi Show. So interesting that you know she's you know wanting to go do this along with everything else. You know, and this was in the Belfast Telegraph. All right, remember, links below for all these articles will be in the description box as usual, okay? Matt Smith says, new doctor needs to be told. I, or, all right, the, the new doctor who needs to be bold, sorry. And I absolutely don't see why it can't be a girl. Who cares? All right, and the reason why I'm being, um, see, Matt Smith recently just attended another event. He walked in, looked at all the fans standing there, and this kept going. He signed one or two things later on, you know, when it's time to leave because of the paparazzi were there, and that was it. So, side door Matt can go with side door Jenna. All right, Tom Baker returns to Doctor Who to the finish last 1979 episode. Okay, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert for Shada, okay? Before I scroll down, I want you to remember, I've warned you, because if you watch the new shot, what they did was they animated parts that were missing because this was an unfinished episode. It wasn't freaking lost. <laughs> it was always sitting there in the archive what they had shot. And it's been redone. It was a flash animation by Paul McGann. There was a version done by Ian Levine. And of course, you know, say, <laughs> there's been three different versions of it. So I don't know why they're calling it a lost episode. It never was lost. but. Spoiler alert, one of the things I mentioned in this article, like I said, once again, if you have not seen the shot of Blu-ray, tune out now. The door's that way. They brought in Tom, and they filmed the last part live action with him as he is now, wearing the garb. And I just watched it. A friend of mine sent me a clip of it. 
and it is fantastic. So you were warned. Moving on. Tom Baker returns. Now, this gives you a little bit more that that article didn't, so that's why I'm going to send it along with the other one. So, and he talks about his life and all that back then. I used to dread the end of rehearsal. That's why I can't stay away with it or away from it. And Shada was one of my favorite Doctor Who stories. I have many fond memories of shooting the location scenes in Cambridge, and it was disappointing not to finish the story in studio. I'm so glad the BBC Worldwide have found a way to bring fans a complete visual version. And this is a picture of him in the new footage, wearing the garb, man, once again. So that's why I warned you ahead of time. And, of course, here's a little clip of it as well if you want to see the quality of the animation and whatnot. Okay, for you folks who are hoping to go see Shada on December 2nd at the BFI, um, you're not gonna. It was It is sold out. I just thought I'd make you all aware of that, that you can't get tickets for it. Moving on. Here's one thing I'm a little bit pissed off about. Lucky, Lucky Doctor Who fans can see the 2017 Christmas special over a week early, but there's a catch. The catch being they're going to cut out the final scene with the after the regeneration with Jodie Whittaker, apparently. So that way you, they're going to cut out a big chunk of the ending it sounds like so that's what's going on with that if you want more details here's the locations and all that and tickets for screenings will be allocated by a random draw of those who apply with 45 percent going to local postcodes 45 percent going to the surrounding county and 10 percent available to the rest of the uk so in other words if you don't live in these areas you got a snowball's chance in hell so just to let you know on that okay moving on and that should not be where that is. <laughs> Sorry. This is supposed to be here. So here's another way to go check in on the Christmas. Your boom, boom, boom. How's you get in the random drawing and all that stuff right here. Okay. I forgot to move that over. Deeply sorry. So, and also if you scroll down, they give you a Google map location of each of these locations here. So wham, wham, wham. Here you go if you want to look it up right there. All right, so some lucky folks are going to get a chance to see. You can register for tickets anytime as of, until 11 p.m. Sunday, the 3rd of December. So keep that in mind. All right, so boom, boom, boom. There's also the dates you need to know all that right here on these pages, okay? But only going to apply if you live in those areas, around those areas, and whatnot. All right, Tom Baker chuckles his way through his Doctor Who 54th birthday message. Here it is if you want to watch it. Tom in all his glory, you know, wishing Doc a happy Doctor Who day. And I thought I'd throw that in just for shits and giggles. All right, sorry, that must be a copy. How did I do that? Yes, I did do that. Zeri, I don't get rid of it. Okay, Scottish star David Tennant returns to the TARDIS. This is in reference to the 10th Doc uh, Doctor Adventures, Volume 2, that was released just yesterday. So if you want more details on that, go to bigfinish.com. It is out. And from what I'm hearing, it is very, very well done with, you know, Tenet and Billy Piper reunited, reunited in audio. Remember that. Whew. In audio. Okay. It's not, it's not a video presentation. So lots of stuff going on. Doctor Who possibly going to South Africa to film after the first of the year. And... It's just mind-boggling. If they, if that would put Doctor Who on a scale that, you know, it's such an interesting, you know, exotic location in South Africa. It's never been filmed there before. It's going to be a first for the show. Oh, well, so I got to get it rolling. Got things to do. So take care. Ta-ta. Enjoy the rest of your night. See you all on the flip side. And I hope you didn't eat too much turkey and had to have your stomach pumped.